Hey guys! Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X-2! Last time we finished up pretty much all of the grinding that we're gonna do for the rest of the game, which is good because we've already beaten even the final boss, and the super boss, and the new super boss! This time we're gonna beat that new super boss at level 99, which I have level grinded up to at long last, and then we're going to show him without creatures, Without Miracle Drink, yeah, this is going to be a long one, so strap in. Did he say strap in or strap on? We have the end garment grid, which is the garment grid I would highly recommend for this. The other thing we're doing this without is Finale. Finale, if you have not run away, will do 99,999 damage, as I've said. I'm not using this for two reasons. One, uh, this is still, you know, the file that we started at the start of this LP, and you've seen me run away from plenty of enemies, so it's just a normal attack for me. On a new game plus, this will do 99,999 right off the bat. All you have to do is use it. But in this case, we're going to not be able to use that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with the end for the break HP limit and for the break damage limit. We're gonna start with Dark Knight, Two Iron Dukes, everyone is set up the same way. You'll notice that I have a couple of mascots on there. You don't need two mascots on there, but it'll make your life easier. As you can see, I'm gonna go from Dark Knight to mascot to mascot to unlock break damage limit for everybody. And once we've done that, hopefully we'll have everything all set up. Mega Elixirs, I just actually tested this out and I went through 14 Mega Elixirs throughout the course of the uh, fight. Uh, we have Dispel Tonics, which you'll also need, Chocobo Wings, Stamina Tonics you'll definitely need, three stars you probably won't, but it could hurt. Uh, Mega Phoenixes are there, but I probably won't use those. Anyway, no Miracle Drink, no Potion Dark Matter, we're not doing that. You can do that, and then you basically win. You could also, you know, use lots of Finale, and then you also win. Anyway! This is the last challenge as far as combat goes in this game. There are very few things left that I wanted to show off. This is one of them. Let's see if we can do this. This is not an easy fight, nor is it a short fight. And I'm running away. I got ambushed. I'm basically kind of screwed at this point, so we're, we're going to restart this and not get ambushed. Thank you very much. I wouldn't unload if we got a preemptive strike because that would make my life easier, but uh, let's, let's, let's not handicap myself too much more than I already have. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so we go up here, 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 here. Oh no! I think my head's on backwards! Riku. Your head probably is on backwards. All right, yeah, you're yeah, there, you you're there, and yep, so everybody has made it. Stamina Tonic, first thing. Mega Elixir. And sure, we'll go for the Chocobo Wing. Not that it really matters, but. The idea here is he's got a number of attacks and that's the one that's until we buff up our HP a little bit more, is the instant KO. That one is used by Unum, the uh, the first guy that we can run into there. Uh, so let's go uh, Moogle Life, bring you back, and ow. Well, that went exceptionally well. Normally he doesn't use both of those really powerful abilities back to back. I guess he's getting me back for me getting the, uh, the preemptive. Next. Okay, we're on a level playing field this time. Oh, crap. I uh, kind of need to switch my... Uh... Oh, well, I'm just going to have to make one extra trip on the grid there the to go back to uh, Mascot there. Hopefully nobody is caught in Dark Knight mode because that would result in pain. All right, so we're all good to go there. So there's that. Mega Elixir. And I'm going to hold off on you. Probably won't get that Mega Elixir off. 
Maybe I should have used Mega Elixir. Maybe I would have got it off. I don't know. So yeah, you're gonna do this. Somebody's gonna die. That was you, so that's fine. So uh, I'm gonna use Life Ninja just on the off chance that somebody else dies. And then uh, you're gonna use the Mega Elixir. So he's gonna do that, which I should be able to survive. Barely. But uh, get the Life Ninja going eventually. And then the Mega Elixir. And basically I've the start of this fight is a lot about setting up. If you can get the setup to work for you, cool. If you can't, you're in trouble. Because this is the only way to kind of stay alive, is spamming Mega Elixirs. <laughs> Just stay alive here. And we want to get that Stamina Tonic back. That shouldn't kill us. That only does about 7,500 there, so that's not too bad. Moogle Kirija is your friend, and we're going to be using that a lot. Basically, that's all Yuna does all fight long. Mega Elixir. Riku needs that Stamina Tonic. Who is using that? Stamina Tonic. Go. Meteor, I'm not worried about. He has a number of attacks, some of which are more difficult to deal with than others. Holy, we're not worried about. Pretty much any of the elemental spells, any of the spells that we can use, we're not worried about. It's all about the commands, because those are the only ones that can hurt us, and they each have one. Okay, um, another Mega Elixir. Chocobo Wing. All right, so everybody, assuming we get the heal in, assuming we get the heal in, everybody should be at full. And we should have full HP once we get uh, Moogle Kirija going. Then we're basically all set up and ready to go. All right. So the plan for this fight is, now you can do this by just using your normal attacks. And if you're interested, Dark Kefka made a video about it. Um, you can watch it from his Let's Play. Um, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna use Cackling Gun because it's faster. But just so you know, it is doable. Basically, uh, Unum uses the ability that reduces one character by a lot. So we want to be able to, uh, we want to be able to kill that one first. Then we want to kill Cat Tor, and then we want to kill Duo, and then Tria in that order. Uh, I think that's actually by lowest to most HP, but it's also by the most deadly to the least deadly. We have the Moogles or the mascots, which protect protect us Kiss against me. pretty much all status effects. And basically, Riku is the utility player. She's either going to be uh, helping us get uh, better chains, doing normal attacks, or she's going to be adding additional healing if I need it. Basically, if I fall below 30,000 HP, then she's gonna chip in with a Mega Lake. Other than that, this is the basic strategy. It's all about the setup. Once you get past the setup, you're normally good to go, as long as you don't get a really bad draw and they use like two really powerful things at you, uh, both back to back. And once they start to throw Protect up, um, I'll wait here because there we go. That way I'll get the chain. That, no, not you. You want to use Captain Gun, so there's that. Uh, so now you've got to reply with a Mega Elixir, which is unfortunate because I wanted to use the Spell Tonic. But yeah, as long as they don't use uh, Radius Command or whatever that thing's called there, and then another really powerful command or Fireworks Hits, which it usually won't, then we're usually all right. But I want to make sure I get... Oh, <laughs> so close. Okay, hopefully I get that Mega Elixir in before you guys get another move, because otherwise Riku is a little on the dead side. And get you going again. And you're gonna have to... Okay, I'm still alive. That's only 7,500. I might have to pull Pain off attacking if they're gonna keep doing this. Good. Moogle Kirija, thank you. Moogle Kirija again. 
basically that's all she's going to do all game long. <laughs> or all battle long, unfortunately. Not the most interesting, but basically I've banned anything that makes this fight take seconds or minutes, and we're going to go instead for what's going to take a long time. Alright, so you are going to make Elixir as well, because I'm not gaining enough HP back fast enough to just keep doing too much of it. <laughs> and if they use another ability, I'm screwed. So we'll just put everybody in healing mode, just to make sure... Of course, I probably didn't need to after that, but oh well. On our next turn with uh, Riku there, we want to use a Dispel Tonic on the only the one we're targeting for now. Alright, uh, so you are going to go back to Cackling Gun on Unum. Okay, so there's that. That's probably his second most powerful attack. Uh... Crap, I have no choice. I gotta use a damn damage. So never gonna get Dispel off. That's one of the most difficult parts about this, is knowing it's like, well, I need to use Dispel, but I need to heal first. And after we finally are healed up and not in danger of dying, then we can Dispel. Which is one of the reasons why this takes so long. That and there's just so many attack animations. This will be a long video, unfortunately. But uh, after this, there's not much left to do in Final Fantasy X too. Uh, all right, so Dispel Tonic on you. More Moogle Curing. Then Riku can get back to her attacking. Uh, the other thing I want to do is I want to reestablish uh, Haste so that we're all moving faster uh, for the attack animations there. Would be nice. Fortunately, the game doesn't like me, so let's uh, have you use the choke a little there. I don't want to pull Yuna off there to use, like, uh, Regena, uh, which would do Regen and Haste on everyone, because the Regen is pointless. Actually, it's probably not. At this HP, it's probably decent. But uh, I just don't want to pull her off healing duty. I guess I could have, you know, used a Mega Elixir and then had her do that, but that's fine. All right, so you, back to attacking you, and Kirija. There's Chocobo Wing, we're fast again. And I'm not gonna bother buffing up uh, Pain's attack this time because the chances of her dying are decent. Oh god, don't kill Yuna. That would be the worst one to end up dead. She can survive almost everything. She can definitely survive that. But uh, she can survive almost anything now that she's, you know, with 20,000 HP. Okay. Yeah, pretty much the stats for these guys are all maxed or close to max. They're immune to pretty much every status effect, including bribe. You cannot bribe them. They have lots of HP. Uh, most of them have over 500,000, I believe. In fact, they all have over 500,000. They have five, 555,555. Or 600,000, six, uh, 666,666, or 700,000, uh, 777,777. Uh, two of them have the 500,000 per hour. See, now that I'm kind of back on schedule, I basically can just hold down the button for a little while. There we go. Good damage. And hopefully we kill that first head. The first head is the most annoying because it's got the most powerful single targeting attack and it's the only one that can use protect. So once we take that one down, we're good to go. So I do want to get uh, haste going again because that seems to have been dispelled off of some of our, my guys here. Uh, but we'll... Uh, We'll hold up here and make sure we get our uh, our extra damage in here. There we go. And yes, that one died. 
perfect. Cackling gun, start on number four. Item, chocobo wing. Cure job. Okay, I probably need to do some mega elixir next time. The other thing you gotta watch out for is the amount of MP you have left, specifically with pain, because she's going through 99 per turn. So if you're hitting like 300,000 and you think, or 300 MP and you're thinking like, okay, I might need to uh, to heal some HP this round, don't worry about it. Just use the Mega Elixir and uh, you'll be all right. Uh, let's see. I want to use the Spell Tonic on you. And I think I'm going to Mega Elixir just to be safe. Will my team make the playoffs? If they make catches like that, they will. Holy crap. I'm calling interference on it, but oh well. Uh, do, 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 what am I doing again? Um, yeah, so you're gonna do this. Cackling gun. And you're gonna go back to your attacking. Curage's gonna keep my HP up. And now I can hold down the button again. And basically, that's what I've done. I've pulled down the X button, and I get to sit here and watch. As long as my HP doesn't drop too far, I don't have to change my actions. As long as I have haste on, and we have auto protect and shell with the uh, the mascots there, just keep attacking, keep chaining. You'll do lots of damage this way. And Fullman is the weakest of their special command attacks. It only does 7,500. Uh, so we're not too worried about seeing that one. Uh, the ones that we don't want to see are Mortis, uh, the Radius one, I'm not pronouncing these properly, uh, and then the, uh, the Fullman, whatever that thing was. What's that one at least called? Yeah, Mortis Command, we don't like. Uh, Fullman Command's the weakest one. And let's see here. The Nam Command, that one's kind of in the middle. And then, yeah, the uh, the rate the radius command that's the one you have to watch out for the most. That's done by Unum. There we go. And basically, this is the entire fight. It uh, takes a long time to do this way, and I guess there's, I guess some amount of strategy involved. It basically just use the best accessories you have, some of the best garment grids you have, and the best dress spheres you have, and do your best to stay alive. As far as strategy goes, it's not massive, but uh, it at least, I don't know, it gives you a way of taking down the most powerful super boss in the game without being... Uh, let's dispel the other two while we're at it here. Uh, it allows you to take down the super boss of the game without cheesing it, without using creatures, and without, uh, you know, using like, really abusive methods that uh, you could use if you wanted to. Miracle Drink makes you invulnerable. It won't run out. I've never seen it run out. Um, you could also use uh, Finale, which does 99,999. Not to mention, it doesn't have any charge up time and you can use it really, really fast. So there's that as well. All right, last is Spell Tonic and then I won't have to forget that I've uh, left somebody on in Protect since I tried to do that. Forgot that I left somebody in uh, protect there and let them. Oh, Pain's almost out of MP, so I got to use a Mega Elixir here just to uh, just to heal up. I'll probably do that uh, with Yuna's turn because uh, the other two I would rather have them attack. Tonic. And they're all free and clear of that. Fireworks can hit you. It's not very common, but it can, so just kind of be aware of that. So we all break damage limits, so if we do critical, she can get more damage there. there go. And yeah, that's pretty much the strategy. The rest of the uh, battle, after, especially after we take care of the next head, is just about uh, just about kind of repeating the same process. And once we do finish off the next head, I'm going to turn on fast forward times two because the rest of the fight really is kind of not all that challenging. 
it's basically just hold down the button. You can usually keep yourself alive. Eh, this time. Yeah, we're gonna make Elixir. You okay? There's Moogle Kirija. But we're still below 30,000, so we want to make sure we use uh, Mega Elixir to keep our HP as high as possible. But yeah, keep an eye on it. But for the most part, after that second head dies, we're uh, on autopilot mode for the rest of the fight. Once we're down to the final head, you can even pull Yuna off healing detail and move her over to uh, attacking detail with uh, Moogle Beam, which does about as much damage as uh, Cackling Gun. But yeah, any other dress sphere you would want to try here, I don't think would be able to survive. Having the ribbon ability with the, uh, there we go. That one's down. All right, so we want to work on duo next. Go cackling gun, kick some ass. There we go. Yeah, the other one's taking its sweet time dying there. I'm strong. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? No flags, no flags, no flags. We're actually winning! We're playing the best team in the league and we're actually winning! Of course it's the first quarter. We were doing this last week too. We were winning in the first quarter. Then we weren't. Then we pulled back ahead in the end. We might make the playoffs yet. All right. So yeah, the rest of this fight is pretty much autopilot. I said I'd turn on fast forward. There we go. And yeah, basically just hold down the button and the battle will win itself at this point. Uh, most of their attacks can't deal enough damage to uh, break you out of, you know, within your damage tolerances that Moogle Kirija can, you know, keep up with. And the only thing you got to watch out for is make sure you use a Mega Elixir when you're getting down uh, too much on MP, and you're good to go. Weight mode helps. If you don't have weight mode on, I would recommend putting weight mode on. It just makes it easier. So it gives you a little extra time. It's doable without it, but it makes my life easier. Basically, as soon as we hit Chapter 5, I turned on weight mode, and I haven't turned it off. Uh, active mode for the first... Uh, for the first four chapters is fine, but when I have to start thinking and strategizing and finding items that are hidden, you know, whoever, who knows where, then uh, I think I need to, uh, I think I need to be able to set things up properly. All right, so Mega Elixir. And back up here, Kirija. One more head remaining. Finish this guy off. I'm surprised. I figured this episode would be even longer than this. I was expecting this guy to take, you know, upwards of half an hour or 40 minutes. But, uh, oh well, that's fine. Oh yeah, uh, I don't need you doing that anymore since there's only one left. Moogle Beam. Kecleon, Moogle Beam, normal attack with Riku. Riku doesn't have a, a really powerful ability that she can use, so she might as well just do her normal attack. But yeah, this will be the second time I've done this. Uh, in fact, after looking around and looking through strategies, um, this is the one that seems to make the most sense for me. Uh, I've adapted this from what uh, I mentioned earlier that Dark Hefta was doing in his own video. But uh, I found that this made the most sense and it was relatively safe. Uh, as if you always kind of go on the side of caution when it comes to this, you're usually going to be in decent shape. But anyway, that is the game Super Boss with Yuna, Riku, and Pain. I promised you one more thing in this LP. If there's anything else that comes up that you guys want to see, let me know. The one more thing I promised was all the Dress Sphere transformations. I will go record that next. 
And I believe I do have a few other things that I'd like to talk about. And I think we'll uh, put some commentary over the address sphere transformations. I can't, I don't know how long it's gonna be, but we'll, we'll get there, we'll, we'll figure it out. That's all for this one. And I'll see you guys next time.